My mic was muted during that. Don't worry, you missed nothing. I was making dumb jokes. You know, like always. Uh, let me check on this real fast. Uh, turn that off. Uh, hey, you can see my, my cursor real fast as I go through and click on other tabs and pause. And then open another tab in YouTube and uh, type it's raining somewhere, in, somewhere else because that's a good song for listening to the background. You know what? Uh, you guys can see me type terribly as well. It's you and me, it's raining somewhere else. Uh, OST, it's raining somewhere else. Oh man, there's so many things if it's raining somewhere else. Uh, 10 hour version, perfect. And I'll just pull up my stream labs again to check that real fast. And I should probably post this in the Discord as well. Uh, pixel art. There we go. Man, I'm an amazing producer. Uh, thank you, phone. I can also go live from you. It's amazing. Everything's going full circle. It's amazing. I'm great at this. Best streamer ever. How's the audience? It's a little low. We'll raise that a little bit for you guys. How's that? Well, there's no one to tell me it's wrong, so I guess it's right. Man, can't wait for this to get copyright stricken on YouTube. Oh well, there goes the VOD. Uh, right, I should separate this from the other tabs. Uh, click on my home. No, is it my following? Guy, I have no idea how anything works. Uh, click on following. Click on Pixel Dailies. Uh, uh, the, the theme is Sunbeams. So I'm going to spend like 5, 10, 20, half an hour, all the stream doing Sunbeam. And if I don't like it, I erase the whole thing. Sunbeam, Sunray, you know the deal. Is this... I don't even know if entertain is the right word for what I'm doing anymore. You know what? Uh... Mm, not feeling this one. Don't save. No. 128, uh... 128 by 64. And we're just going to do a bunch of rocks and stuff. Uh, title this one Rocks. Because I know how to title. Uh, control. Uh, we'll put a rock here. And Man, what am I doing with all my thought process? This is how I draw. What? No, that's terrible. Okay, so I actually have to try. Yeah, hate trying. I can't, like, just muscle through it as always. I mean, I could. Like, oh, I want sunbeams, uh, here's the sun, and, uh, here, look at shoot beam. Pew. Man, amazing artist. Best I've ever seen. Uh, current plan is, like, a weird little grotto with rocks flowing through and, like, shade and sunbeam. So first, I guess I should design the water path. No, I don't like that. I'll start with shapes, because I'm getting annoyed with what I'm doing already. Uh, base color. Decrease size a bit. Zoom in once. Have the one-to-one -one here so I can see how bad it looks when I look in corner. You know what? Uh, uh, like right about there. Uh, yeah, there. Is this doing it? No, it's just being weird for the camera. Alright. Hmm. Where do I want to do this? Do I want to do it like a weird center plane? A side plane? I'll be diagonal and this way forming diagonal. So for now, I'm just going to have this line coming in for no real reason. And then we have to think. So, in do I use reference? Oh, God. No, my terrible mind's eye will guide me through this, I swear. And just to quickly check again, is it actually up? Uh, it says pixel art and chill. It's allegedly up. But is it truly up? I mean, the answer is maybe. But I don't know. Is it up me? Might be. Is this interesting? Probably not. Yeah. Alright, so if we're going to have it sort of flowing like that, we can also add a sense of verticality. So instead of that... Oh, right, I was in tab. 
You could have it like that, but that's a bit too vertical from around, no. From here to here. Is that the right sense of verticality? You sort of, hmm. The goal is to try and draw a crick. Should I change the stat? I don't know. I'm, I'm bad at everything. If I get fed up with this enough, I'll just go back to drawing small characters. You know, I'll show small characters I draw normally. Uh, characters. Yeah, look at that. I can actually draw. Who could believe it? Who could believe it? Who could believe it? Look at all these things. They're base drawings because I don't have anywhere to use them yet. Anyways, back to drawing terribly. I'm not good with large scale and I want to get better with it. The only way to get better with something is to try. And man, I hate trying. So, let me think. What do I want to do to move this along and es uh, not escalate? Not oh god, I'm not thinking of the right word again. Um, exasperate? No. Expedite, that's the right word. How do you want to expedite this process and where do we... Yeah, this is the right sense of verticality I'm looking for. So then we start to alter this. Uh, I need a better color I can see. I can change the colors later. So if we want to keep this sort of sense, you know, I'll just make a new, I'll call, I'll make a new layer, uh, duplicate, verticality. And there, I can keep the line shape intact and delete it later. I'm good at art, I swear. Anyways, oh no, I'm moving rocks above it for now, just so I can see what I'm doing. So you could have something like your water sort of pouring in for a while, where you'd have like some big rocks sort of etching it through. You'd have to have a sort of change of perspective though, because it would be going from downhill to sort of less downhill, because I want to have a little drop right around here, where the water falls. And that sort of continues into a bigger pool. And something like that, and then uh, let's just quickly um, put a uh, bad blue on verticality and uh, move that up. And like, oh wow, it's the water, and oh, it's pouring in. Oh, it's uh, pouring in some more. But like it's slightly highlighted so you can tell there's a difference between the two and whoa it's pouring in even more over here <laughs> god this is like terrible immediately but the point is to get an idea of what i want to do yeah that's that's actually somewhat doable all right yeah i can i can do stuff with this and uh just for the hell of it grass Oh my god, there's so much grass. Uh, uh, grass, what an amazing base drawing. Uh, grass. And then I'd add, like, shading eventually with another layer that I'll just, uh... Shading. And then it's like, uh, wait, gotta change the opacity because I'm a cheater. Uh, 80 opacity. Whoa, it's like all shaded in a lot of areas, but there's some sunbeams going through. Whoa, that's pretty cool and epic for me. Just be sure to make them like somewhat exclusive so you can tell that you're a bit in the forest at least. I don't know. This is the creative process I uh, strive to continue with. It's amazing. I've already finished. Peace to resistance. Put it on Twitter already. Yeah, right. Alright. Time to... try? Is that what I do here? Do I try? Do I think with my brain at all? And the song just slipped. Cool. Just wanted to be sure it would do something with it. Uh, a little bit there. The shading isn't needed me. I don't need this right now. What the... Uh, that's a weird color snap my eyes just had. Anyways, uh, uh, for now, new layer, uh, closer to rocks. Closer to rocks. Uh, we're going to want a base layer real fast. Uh, layer one, move that down a bit, uh, background. And then 
I'm just gonna quickly. Ooh, this is a nice blue. There we go. Why did I do that? It's so I don't have to. I can use grays without having to think. Uh, are these gray? Uh, well, no. Stop that. Back to this. So we'd have something like a rock right about here. Man, this is definitely informative and good. I don't need to add as many rocks. I just was sort of doing that for an outline as well. It's okay. No, hand. And then we have like a bit of a better color for Crick. And this is definitely amazing, entertaining. And isn't me just talking to the void again. Uh, a new layer. So many bad layers of uh, actual water. Uh, like 24 opacity. I'll turn it off quickly afterwards. Uh, I wanted, yeah, that's actually a pretty good watercolor and I can add details to it from here. flows through itself. Yeah, this is actually... If I turn off verticality and rocks, it's somewhat okay. Somewhat, viewer, somewhat. Uh, anyways, we need verticality and rocks right now so I can get an idea of what to draw. And then you would do something like sort of that to show the water and then uh, can't really tell too well what's happening but that's fine that's fine then you'd have like darker spot on the water to show that's sort of pooling out a bit yeah this is fine I'll eventually add movement to the water anyways water's not needed we don't drink water here back to rocks rocks are neat god this is like already low energy and I planned on not having it be that. Hmm. Oh, I got my voice. So, like, around here, so... Then... Like, if I do a weird dirt surrounding and try and merge the two colors, we'll... Like, these are not current. That's a little better. If I add the actual water back in and turn off verticality and rocks, how are we looking? Terrible. Terrible as always. Good to see. Good to see. Man, this is an amazing, amazing start to stream. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is how it's going to be. The point is to get stuff done and not constantly uh, back out and complain, so... There'd be darker rock. Yeah, no, I had it on fill still. Uh, decrease size, put one there, and put the tinge of darker rock here. This is how you art. It is a struggle of hating what you have done. I swear. And then, I mean, technically, logistically, you'd have to have some sort of definition in the sides for the grass to show that it's dipping into itself, and... Ah, uh, God. And I'm getting caught up in logistics again. I'm sure that's what you've all come here to see me uh, complain a lot about rivers. Rivers are neat. And God, this is like super low energy and even worse art. The art's okay. I'm better at designing little characters than I am with painting. Uh, turn rocks and verticality off. I want to see what I'm painting here. Just gotta kind of slowly paint stuff. It'll come eventually. If you just keep hitting the same... Wait, no. That makes it sound too sad. Uh, the point is uh, perseverance. But I can't raise it in a way immediately. Persevere through it and it gets better over time. That's the point of streaming. That's the point of art. 
No, that line. Redo that line. Maybe better line. Could be worse line, though. I uh, don't like that line. Uh, that's an okay attachment between the two. Uh, from here, you sort of curve in and down. Uh, fill that in. Fill that in. Use that hand. Uh, if we add in the actual water again and the random shading, it looks terrible. Good to see. Turning the background off for a minute so I don't get distracted by my own colors. Oh god, it looks so weird because of the because of the lack of the background. Background back on, and then uh, you know, I have so much to fill in. The way you would phrase this is, it'd be sort of etched into a moat, so on one side you would only see grass. And on the other side you would see water. I'd have to have something for like, uh, so right around here I need to form a drop, so if we go to actual water I can just quickly use this as a form of shading and like just sort of circle this area. And then hit the fill key and hey, like it, it's, it shows that there's a terrible drop in it right now, but I'm looking to short, uh, I'm looking to show that it's an edge between the faces. As we continue with this, I'll eventually smooth that out, but as I keep saying, I'm going to keep persevering because I hate doing landscapes because I'm, I, it's a lot larger details than I'm used to doing. I, I like to work in the small stuff and even in the small stuff, but it could use improvement. Oh, I mean, I'm still in actually water, closer to rock. So like, and then we'd also, uh, go back to this for a moment and sort of show, there'd have to be like another drop or a sort of hill change in this section. I can smooth it out later. I just want to show stuff right now. I don't have to like focus on absolute details immediately. I am not saying this for anyone else but myself. I just really need to keep that in mind. Closer to rock. Uh, how's this color mesh? Um, it's an okay mesh. If I just hit fill, how's this? Oh, right. It's going to well, take over the whole. No, it didn't. All right, that's an okay start. So you can sort of see there's a depth in there. And if it's here, that means you would normally want something closer to the rest of the texture. Oh no, wait, that isn't water. That was the background, right? Whoops. Oh, I'm getting ideas now. The brain's turning. It's slowly starting to look like something. Go to actual water. Uh, wait it out a bit. Wait it out a bit more. So we have this rock here. So we have the rock here, and then the grass would sort of slope in. It slopes around it. Oh god, I'm already getting annoyed with this. Hmm. Oh. Oh, hey, thanks for the host, Wolf. Are you... I'm just doing bad pixel art right now, because I feel like waking up still, I guess. How are things going on your end? Is it, like, midday for you? It better not be like late. It can't be that late. I'm gonna keep going with art. Hmm. I do not like the sand in that. Uh, if I turn this off and just uh, fill this with a darker color, fill this with a lighter layer. No. Lighter. There we go. It's like the depth of the rocks is being betrayed both in the light and then in the water's depth again. I'll probably have to rearrange the water. Oh well. I 
I don't know, like the thing I'm working from is memory. When I was when I was a kid, I would just sort of run through uh, cricks and rivers. Ah, oh no, I'm still on fill, that's why. Whoops. Eh, I can clean this up eventually. Alright, I don't need to zoom out to look, I can just sort of move my hand move the hands thing around here and check. And it's kind of clustered still. I need to do around here and here. So let's do that. Let's have a look at what everything is going to be doing now. So we have stuff here. Probably could cover that more to show a bit more depth and evenness throughout it. Probably will do that now, actually. So it's a bit more of a smoother curve. And then we go over here and just kind of get rid of some of it and then uh, go to our current watercolor. Do this and this and a little bit of this. Some of that, maybe a bit more of this, 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 this that. Uh, go to arrays, take off that little corner. It's a bit of anti-aliasing work, technically. Uh, go back to closer to rock. Uh, whoa. Oh, right, I had shift and set control. Get rid of that. What am I doing? Just small details now? I don't know. I'm back to the norm. Uh, this, 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 and a little more anti-aliasing. It's looking better. It's still too much blast, so let's just quickly... A uh, new layer, name it grass, and uh, go to this, and something like one, two, three. Okay, I'm just going to quickly and just see how this will look on the upper when I'm done with it. Probably could just do stuff like a patchwork instead and maybe flowers, but for now I want to have it pseudo-populated with stuff. And yeah, this one doesn't really work. It is getting somewhere though. We're getting to have a shape to it. Is verticality and yeah, verticality and rocks are off at this point. I can turn actual water. Uh, I need to accumulate more corner stuff. Go to this, cover it. All right, we're still in grass. Whoops, uh, closer to rock. Uh, grow it once over. This one, 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 then this, and this. Yeah, that starts to sort of go up. Cool. i uh, got actual water for a minute because I'm really annoyed with the details in this. Uh, too dark, bright color. There we go. Hey, it's looking like something. Closer to rock, uh, this color, and uh, if we just fill that in. Ah, now it's starting to slowly look like a process. Hmm. Kind of. Doesn't really fit. If we put shading back on it... I'm just gonna... We're gonna do this in a different way. Go to this, uh, fill, go to erase, go to a smaller tool size. And just sort of cut in through itself. And just keep doing that every once in a while. I'm like, oh, a bit of a star there, maybe? Oh. 
Now it's starting to look like something. Maybe one here. I don't know. I don't know why I'm going to these small details again when this isn't really needed. It, ah, yeah. It's such a weird tangent for me to go on yet again. Mm, one more. Kind of, I, I don't know. Well, I've been doing this for 25 minutes. There was something I was supposed to do, like, right before I started streaming. I'm like, yeah, I can, I can wait a bit. I'm trying to remember what it is now. Uh, it might have been my laundry, but I think it can just sit in the washer for a bit. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. How will I do the next part with this? What is the next step? To do. Uh, first turn off shading so I don't get the wrong idea. Then you gotta think forward and plan ahead. And man, I can't do either of those things. I mean, I can't. I just, for some reason, refuse to. But let me look around and see what I can think of next. God, landscapes are so much harder. Back to the actual water. It's slowly becoming something, though. If we turn the actual water off... Alright, so it should... The slope should end around here. Yeah, go to closer to rock. At this point, I'm going to slowly start doing smaller details, because... The larger scapes are starting to appear now. Ah, oh, no. This and this and more anti-aliasing, but it's less, it's a different type of anti-aliasing. Because instead of merging the colors, it's making them, I don't know, it's showing that there's a balance between the two. Because you would normally use anti-aliasing as a color item to merge between two colors. But I'm going for a harder movement on this just because, like, if I turn on shading for a second, it gets a little bit darker, but that doesn't... It covers all the colors for that, so it's yet less useful. This is more to show that there is an edge between the two, and you can kind of see it a bit better in this definition. Like, you can see there's two types of edges. This one's more natural, the other one isn't. If I really wanted to continue with this, I would have gone through something in the greener spectrum, like... Actually, yeah, that's a better anti-aliasing merge. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. You can't really see the difference between the two on the larger, but it helps me sleep at night. Yeah, you really can't see the difference between the two on the larger. Oh, wrong color. and go down a bit more and continue drawing. Now we'll turn on actual water again. No, I don't want to see the water yet. I'm not ready to face my fears. I could do something more with the rocks, but it's not too needed. Like the water will go from here and it'll flow down. So if we have the actual water, God, that is just like a weird drop difference. I need to turn the background off, don't I? Alright, so that's what still needs to be filled. If we turn the... I turn closer to rocks off. Uh, so many tabs. Alright, so this is what still has to be filled. And how would I fill it? The answer is with, with multiple different types of colors, but for now, we'll go back to grassing. 
wrong grass color. And then a little bit here, smooth the edge a bit. Move over to here. It's a little much, so I can do something like this around one of the rocks and back down. Uh, that's a bit too sharp of a turn, though. You want it to sort of look like it's pooling out more naturally. Yeah, we're nearing something there. Uh, that, that, down one there, there. Yeah, that, that's that's more decent. Uh, God, it's it's too bright of a single color. There we go. Now it's it's less merging and. I did it again. I keep thinking I just switch layers when I turn visibility on. Go to this. Uh, give it a bit more grass of a bridge and then sort of... I want color lean in for it. Like there's a drop here. So we go back to actual water. Uh, we need a darker strike between the two. It's like, no, not dark enough. Uh, there we go. So with this, it's sort of like a difference between there's a bigger drop here and like a less drop over here. I could have just used the hand command that whole time. Uh, reduce size. Uh, increase size a little. Yeah, we're still on actual water. Just wanted to be sure. Uh, actually, before we continue, we're going to go to this. Uh, wrong, the wrong layer. Go to this one. Bill, wrong color. This one, Bill, wrong color still. Okay. There we go. Now the water has a, uh, its own given depth. Because you can either do depth through actual shading or through fake shading like I do most of the time for larger picks. Because though I could have a set palette, why do you need a palette when you can just keep making new colors? <laughs> <sighs> but now we gotta get back to Tron, go to actual water, uh, this, and just slowly fill this. Oh no, I was still on bucket command. And as this continues, we can go back here, fill this in a bit more to sort of show there's water moving around this section. Because a waterfall, whenever it would fall off a rock, depending on how far out the rock is, there can be a bit of a cave underneath. Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm viewing this as a sort of weirdly towered rock that nature has done. Alright, bye wolf. Hope you have a good day. I'm just going to continue with this for a bit and then switch to something else maybe or just do more art. Yep, you too. Dun 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 da 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 dun da da dun da da dun da 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 dun da da dun da 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 dun da 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 Alright, so we still have to fill in those. Uh, we have a darker green to sort of show that the grass is either dead or being drowned in. Alright, so we have a base color now, so I can go down and... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, right, I can just hit delete on this. Delete. So that one is no longer needed. So now we can zoom in and scroll around a bit again. And we have the start to something. Uh, 
uh, go back to closer to rock. And yeah, no, not shift. So if we turn the, on the water again, it has it sort of striking through itself. Where is this less needed? All right. We're gonna go to this color, hit G, replace it there, and then work details from it. We're slowly getting there with this. It's becoming more readable. Uh, go to actual water and uh, sort of do a, another form of anti-aliasing curve just to show that there's some sort of depth in this to show the water's having an impact on something. Not much is near, but some is. Although it could be more even, it doesn't matter too much. Albeit, uh, go to the lighter one. If it's gone down to this level, you want to sort of keep it at that. And get rid of that little blip there. Uh, nah, that, that, I'm starting to trim too much again. Here, that piece. Alright, the water's starting to look like something, and then we could add something like, ooh, flow lines, ooh, the water's flowing. But I'll probably add that in an animation layer, because I probably am going to have this as like a five frame GIF. Like we have that in the shading and animation layers. Ah, my bones. All right, so it's starting to look like something, which is a good part. Next, we need to sort of fix this section of the anti-aliasing, because it's a bit too much here. I have the songs repeating again. All right, that sort of covers how the water's falling a bit. Uh, something a bit like this helps as well. So it sort of covers that, sort of falling from the edges and fall it's keeping a bit of its momentum and falling down and falling. Yeah, that, that makes sense, right? That, is, does that make sense? Am I making sense in this right now? I hope so. I hope I'm not just constantly elaborating on nothing again. I've done that a couple of times, and I refuse to stop doing it, but still. Man, we've been going for 40 minutes on this already. Uh, ah, no, I hit hand. I swear I hit hand. Go to color. I'll fill this quickly in. Ah, uh, undo. Fill this in, but like, not be a, as much of a hot mess about it. Hmm. Uh, go to color, uh, go to the darker one? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, increase the size of it to about here. Smooth this section out a bit bring this in a lot just because uh, you normally have a bit of a depth because the water coming from the waterfall itself would probably be where the most impact is coming from so you sort of want to show that oh it's created a bit of a deeper pool in this section and I'm just gonna quickly uh, switch these two colors around so I can see what I'm doing a bit better and decrease the size to two do some here decrease the size to one 
Uh, stretch that out a little bit, just so it's a bit more of a smooth turn finishing. Hand over. It goes three, 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 and it would continue in that way. Yeah, see how it's starting to, I'm starting to go to smaller actual pixel lining details now. Man, that's wild how I just kind of went at that. Is this too uniform? Uh, kind of. I want to make it curve a bit more, so uh, we'll get rid of this layer. Remove some from here and remove one from there, and it sort of curves in a bit more. as a bit of a pseudo triangle. And do that. Uh, how's that looking? Yeah, that's starting to actually like show some depth and stuff. Ah, it's starting to look good. Yeah, yeah, you love it when the plan comes together. I should probably save this now in case stuff crashes. Uh, crick. All right, okay. I think that's how it's spelled. Crick dot asprite. All right. And next part is to probably work on the grass. Because we actually got a decent setup on the water. I'll eventually have to do something. Well, it'll be less focusable when there's actual animation going on. So do we do something with this drop-off? or Hmm. Alright, we're going to go to the... Okay, we're on actual water. Gonna go to this, go to this. That's the right size, right? Yeah. Sort of shade this in a bit weirder at first, and then uh, increase the erase size and sort of show that it's a bit of a curved hill section now. Now I'm going into the weirder details now. I keep a proving point back to it, and it makes it less pivotable. I don't know. I don't know where the point I'm going for is. Like, we're getting somewhere with it now. We're getting a, a pseudo-depth in it. We're getting a feeling of depth into this whole thing. And in reality, um, these, would, these would be different colors, and I can, in fact, just... Quit. Like, if I did a sort of highlight, no, not dark enough. It doesn't... Like, you need a dark contrast with it, so I'm eventually going to have to, like, trace these sections out uh, on probably the closer to rock level and try and get the right color contrast between the two so it looks like there is a sort of hillscape here, and then on the ground have this be uh, shading from like the sunbeam going at an angle, like this way in, where this would be shaded and this section would be shaded a little. You know what? We'll do that now. Yeah, no, that's. It'll be fine in the darker color. Uh, probably. Oh no, I had it on fill still. Whoops. Oh god, it's on too large of a thing. I'm. I can't work in these color sizes. Uh, I, I I was wondering why it wasn't showing up, and then I realized, oh, it's too close of a color to itself. And then something like this. This is, I actually, it's raining in somewhere else is my favorite song from Undertale. Like, people joke about Megalovania or Fallen Down or uh, some, even for Death by Glamour, but it's ra it's it's raining in somewhere else. It's just got such a lovely tune feeling to it. Go back to actual water. Uh, this color. What? Oh right, it goes by that. Uh, to go this color? No, but to. Is it this? No. This? No. These? Yes. I'm just gonna do this as a bit more of an actual bordering. You can, like... Let's 
so much. You can see the sort of difference between normal anti-aliasing and trying to just uh, line a whole thing here. With trying to line the whole thing, it's a lot less well presented. If I did anti-aliasing more on this, it would look better. You know, we're going to we're gonna do anti-aliasing. And then we'll do a bit this way as well, because I can't really, I, I can't help myself now. We started on the detail grind, and this is what happens when I go on the detail grind. <sighs> 45 minutes in, and this is what we currently have. It's starting to actually look like something. Uh, can I rewind back in time? Ah, uh, damn, I should. I have the video. I could speed it up and, like, take a bunch of screenshots to show this as a time lapse. And actually, like, do that for the first editing thing I'll ever do on YouTube. That'd be... Art time lapses would be interesting. I know they're a thing. Go back to closer to rock. Sort of have that there. And we go to the actual water tab, technically. And, uh... I just kind of want to trace over it. because this shows that there is a light source and the angle it's beaming in is shading this section. I don't know how to draw dirt well, so I'm just going to leave it as a solid color and hope that that's okay. Like, look at that. It has a bit of a sense of depth. And like how things are coming out and... Uh, Those aren't really needed there for what we're about to do. Go close to the rock and just kind of trim it off. Put some more rock there. Yeah. Go back to the actual water and just uh, trim it off. A little bit more detail there. It's actually starting to come together in a way. Uh, go back to the actual rock, go one layer darker there. It looks less bad now. Kind of. I, I, need to, I need to smooth out parts of this rock now. Uh, put, you know, one there, uh, one there. How's it going in its sort of turn? It goes two to two to two to two. You, if you're gonna do something consistent, you gotta do it consistently, obviously. Anyways, go back to the actual water and go back to some quick anti-aliasing. Yeah, it's starting to look like it functions. It it functions. It does. Yeah, it's starting to sort of have a shape to it. Yeah, it, it's working. It's working. I want to fix this corner. We're going back to closer to rock to add more grass. Actually, I'm going to hold off on that because I just realized I haven't done this over here yet. But on the bright side, this is looking pretty nice. I... Mm, another layer of grass. actual water. There we go. Look at that. It, it has a bit more depth to it. And, uh... We're still in actual water then. Uh, erase a little bit of this. This one? No? What? We're in actual... Yeah, alright, that's correct. Uh... Two in, two in, there we go. Uh, go back to closer to rock, do this. Uh, two in, ooh, it's starting to look more symmetric. Like has a form of depth. 
Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to anti-alias that. You know, I'll do that now. Because it's... I'm just gonna keep anti-aliasing stuff, because I find it a little bit cathartic to just kind of look at the colors merge, and it looks a little bit easier on the eyes. If we zoom out one more tick... Like, look at that. You can... You can see stuff there. It's it's nice. Hmm. It's we're nearing something, and that's what I'm looking for. Cause once I'm able to near this enough, then I can go to doing some quick animations, like maybe three frames or so of what three, four, five frames of water cycling. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to quickly switch my laundry to the dryer. I'm going to mute myself and see the song play for a moment. Uh, oh, I can zoom out and have like you guys be able to look at it in a bit better detail while I'm gone. Yeah, just to quickly check this, if I do one-to-one... -one, yeah, it just kind of resumes, so I'll just... There we go. Be back in a moment. And I'm back. Okay. Put my laundry in the dryer. Now I can get back to doing this. I could smooth this out, but I have bigger fish to fry. Hmm. Oh, God. It's gonna irk me. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna irk me about this, but I want to move on. Mostly because there's other stuff I probably should get to be doing today. And we're already 50 minutes in. <sighs> okay, okay. Give me a moment to think. Yeah, I want to at least clean this up before we continue. Alright. So how would I make this into a tumble? Can you show that? Go to closer to rock. Pick our base color and get in a nice corner. And sort of around here, have it rotate through then at about this point. Have it rotate through a second time. Now in order to do this correctly, we're going to have to clean this up a bit. Uh, rotate through under, rotate through under. Filling this in to quickly parse through some stuff in a moment. We don't have to worry about the water stuff immediately, and also uh, we can then kind of just make this like bridging to itself. Oh, that's a neat little detail it can do then. 
And then you can like have it sort of. Oh no, I'm going into it. Oh no, viewers, we're going into it. Oh no, we're going into it to make it look nicer. Oh god, who could have believed I'd do this? Oh no. I've started and I can't stop. And I don't think I will. All right, so let's see. We go from this to this. We'll remove the anti-aliasing for most of it for now. How do I smooth that out? I have to like change it to one blips and then or I could smooth the other way and then again. I think I'll do that. Then we change it back to twos. One more two. And then to some ones. Yeah, that that's a that that became a much nicer curve. Look at that. It's a lot more tolerable in my opinion. I'll eventually go back and do anti-aliasing on it again. Uh no, I'm doing it now. How could I uh... I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but like there's a weird color difference between these two in my eyes. I find that interesting. Like on its own, it looks it looks a bit lighter, but when you put it in these this corner, it gets darker. It's interesting how the human eye like does that. And then this one we're gonna have two types of anti-aliasing because this one's uh, like facing you compared to the other one which is all too technically facing you and uh, one moment please. Uh... Uh, don't worry about that viewer. Like if you look over there, hey that looks a little bit nicer. We're just going to move it over to here so I can have there look at what I'm doing. But it's starting to become something stable. Like, look at this. I, 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 I sort of remember looking at these as a kid. Mostly in nature, not in pixel art, but still. <laughs> it's looking like something, and that's what we're aiming for right now. And then I can go to doing shade and stuff eventually. But sort of casting a shadow over. Ah, oh, it's, it's starting to look nice. All right, now to this section. And yeah, my back is that. Okay, so we're going from this to three. What? Oh wait, that's why I was being weird. To three, to three, to three. Then to a large amount of twos. So we have to two, 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 and then we'll have some ones, and uh, right about here. Uh, is that too early? Yeah, that's too early. We'll try here for the twos. And we'll switch back to ones and then twos. Not the best populated yet, but it'll work. So four, one, two, three.
like you see how it's starting to work it slowly comes together and now we have this to help me sort of keep track of where I'm going with this then we're gonna have this put to threes so we have three then three then three then two then two then two then one then one then one then one then two then two then two then two then two uh, is that a good enough curve or yeah it's actually a pretty good curve I'm gonna do one thing here though make this one a three you'll see why eventually I'm sure I'm sure uh, then anyways uh, just need to real quick like uh, just use hand and scroll through to get to where you want And then like have that go to about here and then kind of loop back to itself is it this color yes it is Such a large erase. We can go back to smaller details again. For now. And I'll have to get rid of a lot of that as well. Like, to give the shadow the depth of that the light is coming from a specific angle. Because right now it looks like it's sort of shining from the back, and we don't have that working. Like, it's getting a specific type of depth in it, and that's nice. That's what you want to see. Alright, now I gotta do these and uh, a bit lower. Hey, let's have a look. That's looking pretty nice. Still got a bit to be done, but let's just quickly save what we've done so far. God, we haven't even gotten like to the actual part of the thing that this is for the Pixel Dailies. That, like, I haven't done Sunbeam yet. I've just been drawing a river. <laughs> also, good on me for doing this for an hour. Can't believe it's been going that long. Uh, closer to water, and just quickly. like the fact that the, this darker color is peeking out here. It's starting to look like something, and that's nice. You know what? I'm just going to quickly... This isn't needed anymore. It's from a bygone era. It looks nice. I find it that it looks nice. I don't really need to justify it either. I just like it. So where were we again? Uh, I need to zoom out and sort of look at this. And, okay, right. I was putting more anti-aliasing, I think.
Like we got that covered, we got this section covered. Ooh, it's starting to look like something, viewer. It's starting to look like something. And that that gets me a bit excited because I want to see what I do next with it. Like, this is still pretty basic details, but I, I'm enjoying it. I could put a rock up. Ooh, I could put a rock here. We'll just uh, quickly draw a bit of a rock, give it a base, and fill it in, and try and clean it up a little bit. Did it again. Two to one, two to one, two to one, two to one, there. Yeah, that gives it a bit of a rocky shape. Let's have a look at how it looks up there. That's pretty okay. Uh, we'll just quickly uh, get rid of that top part, make it a little softer. Move it around, have a look. So the sun's sort of coming at this angle. So we go to actual water. To be projecting it in sort of this of an array. What the? That's too large. That's why it's too large. It was the blur tool. I uh, keep the blur large for the sole purpose of having it blur large amounts of stuff at once. If you're going to blur, you might as well blur the whole thing. Yeah, we're starting to get a bit of detail with that. The rock's being casted. Mm, a little bit less, though. There we go. It's a smoother cast because it's not that much shadow. And then you might have something like a uh, weak colored moss. No. Oh, wrong. Go closer to the rock. How is this color looking on it? No. Do that, and then like some mossy edges near the top to add some form of ambiance. Yeah, that, that looks okay. Like this rock has been here for a bit and it's starting to grow moss on itself. Yeah, that, that, that makes a bit of sense. It's not the best looking moss, but it serves its purpose once again. It serves its purpose. It's fine, it's fine. It, it looks like it's moss on a rock, and like this isn't gonna be the biggest of details. And I can have like a sunbeam hit this, oh, it's gonna be so nice. And I can have it like have a white highlight to show that it's hitting the rock, and like, ah, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great, viewer. And now, like, that area looks more packed. That rock there gives it a sort of feel. I just need to give it a bit more depth. Man, I'm going way too in detail with this rock now. There, it has a little bit of a shaded corner. Oh no, I'm getting too in detail with this. Oh no. Mm, that's pretty good. Uh, I could go darker if I really wanted to. Uh, the moss would represent the light in this case. Let's go actual water and make this a little bit darker, maybe. There we go. It look. It looks okay. It, it still kind of looks like the moss in the shading, but I'm I'm gonna ignore that. Go back to the actual rock. Uh, maybe just a quick little blip. Ah, no, not that much. Be blip, blap, blam. 
Yeah, kind of. Looks like the moss is growing something on itself, like it's a second gen moss or something. Who knows, who knows? I keep saying or something a lot because I'm not fully really sure what I want to do with that. We can also have a nice little flower patch here. I guess I'll put that one on the grass term. Uh, circle around here to represent the flower patch. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it doesn't need to be that big. Uh, quickly fill this in. Yeah, it's looking like something. Yeah, it really is. And then we shrink this a good amount and uh, some quick coloring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then some white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe a pink or two, like one here. Mm -hmm. Cleaner pink. Yeah, uh, still cleaner. Kind of. And then, uh, wait, no. Blur. No. No. Ah, oh, come on. I, I can't do the easy way out. Like Now it just looks like a worn-in space. Uh, I was hoping I could take the easy way out with that. Damn. All right. Hmm. We can get to that later. I... Good actual water. Good layer color. B. I don't need this weird pink anymore. Uh, and I got trying to remember what color I was using. Was it this? No. Was it this? Yes, it was. Then we have more anti-aliasing, so it looks better at the bridging and doesn't harm the eyes as, with such a stark contrast. the other way to, to do this again I like to show that there is a sort of bridging between these two at this point I'm just in the smaller details because I feel like doing it this isn't really that needed uh, let's move this around a bit oh hey that's starting to look a bit decent Like, look at that. It has depth to it. See? If you persevere long enough, you'll get something for, for as a reward. Alright, now it's time to sort of thin this out again. We're still in actual the water, so we can sort of thin immediately. Come on. There we go. No, stop fighting me. So we have three. So the minimum we can do is three. And then we can escalate it to a bunch of twos because you want to keep this even, because, like, you can see here that this is actually isn't the best of alignments for it. You know what? Uh, what if we do this as a bunch of twos immediately? Yeah, that looks a little better. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Then we change it to ones for a bit, and then back to twos. And then we can sort of change it to threes, and then to fours, and then it sort of flattens out. Like, look at that curve. Ooh, mm, yeah, that's a nice curve, nice curve. Anyways, do you see how there's that weird sort of stark feel in here? That's because we didn't add any uh, shade into that section. Now let's quickly do that, eh? Eh? 
Okay. Okay. Maybe we've been going an hour 15. I guess I'll just do the whole thing for this stream and then call it for now. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, it's starting to look like something. Like, ooh, it's starting to look like something indeed. Ooh, yeah, that that, that has a feel to it. Like, it's flowing in and it's gonna. Mmm, yeah. Woo, clap it up for me. I, I, I made something. It's not done yet, but it's getting there. Like, it feels less empty thanks to this rock. And speaking of rock, I think we're going to put another one here. So we have that as a sort of rock, and then we can just darken it around the edges. This one's less anti-aliasing and more trying to show depth. And technically you'd have a different color for depth, but eh. Like that's sort of like a rock that's been in this that like an animal might use so you want to sort of weave the color in it again. Like, it, like doing this would sort of show that there's been a lot of usage on this rock. I don't know. Uh, at this point, I'm rambling on about nothing again. The psychosis is slowly hitting me, and it's hitting me like a truck, that's for sure. If we zoom in a layer... Am I getting overboard with this? Probably. That one, then that one, and uh, how's that look? Hand around. If we do something like this, it might look a little better. Like this is a more well-worn in rock, so the colors are a bit different. Kind of, uh, I took too much out there. I think I'll use it as like a top and bottom cover and leave it for a bit, as a bit. Go to one layer deeper in color and like something like that maybe. And then it caused me to like be like, oh no, I did the edges again, me. And I'm like, no, the edges were bad. There, the edges can be less bad now. Will it still look weird? Kind of. Like, I have, like, I want to make it seem like a... Oh. I know what it was missing. I had them in the wrong order. Because I wanted to make it seem like it was smoothed over a bit by both nature and by... I guess animals are a part of nature, but like, through the act of nature weathering on it, it's gotten smoother. And there we go, yeah, that, that looks a little better. It's hard, to, it's hard to portray smoothness in a lot of senses, but... Go to actual water, uh, go to this. Just... Ah, no, I did it wrong again. Just like a weak shadow. Doesn't cast much because it's pretty low to the ground. Uh, yeah, look at that. Like it's not that tall, it's just sort of a rock there. And, uh, close to the rock, fill it in, make it lighter. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. Uh, and maybe, maybe a bit more moss in the corner. Me, hmm. Bit of moss in that corner, and then like, maybe some weird moss roots here and there. 
No. Maybe. We'll leave it at that. It's, it's okay. Like, it looks more populated, and now it has, like, ah, it's so good, it's so good. So we know that the light is sort of coming in at this angle. Like, it's coming in, like, my light source would be sort of at this dot and coming in from this angle. Like, probably at the H for help, and it's coming in through there. So we now have an idea of where our light source is. Is there anything else I need to do? Because I don't think there is. Now is the part where things get really fun and I can do some quick animations. Uh, first off, uh, we'll quickly fill these in again. So this is what it looks like currently. Without anything else in it, this is what it will look like with just the current shading. And then I'll probably put in some definition for the water as well. So, uh, we'll just name this shading, uh, ampersand, shading and flow. Man, we've been going for nearly an hour and a half. Yeah, I think I'll just stop with this for a bit, eat some lunch, make something. Maybe I'll probably be back later on today with Alex. We'll probably play something, not sure what yet. But I think we're doing pretty good progress on it so far. I want to start some water lines before I do anything else. Do we have like, is this dark blue going to sort of resonate? Not really, I need something darker. What? Darker? Um, darker. Yeah, I guess that would work. What would white look? What does white look like? Yeah, that, that can be a sunbeam. Okay, yeah, so... We'll use black as sort of a lining for this. But now I have to struggle with the fact of how do I... How will I draw these water lines? The answer is well. I'll draw them well. It's not perfect, and I don't feel like spending a bunch of time to make it perfect. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It doesn't have to be fully perfect. It, I spent an hour on this already. I. Ah, no, not that much. You can't even tell there's a rock there anymore, really. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. And then you would have something like line, second half, line, second half, line, second half. Those last two are bad. I'll just put on the line key tool. Line, second half, line, second half. It's getting worse, I swear. And then like one or two more over here. Like yeah, that that that, that looks nice. I'd have to have the white part sort of puffing in and out if I really wanted to do it well and We'll see, we'll see. It depends on how I feel. I 
And then we'll just have something like... Uh, Uh, is this going to be the right color? I, I hope it is. Like, I want it to be, like, sort of a splitting between dark and light. Like, it's, it, I don't, I want it to be, yeah, it's too dark. That kind of makes it seem washed out. Uh, it's time to experiment with color. Like, I want it to sort of pop. But it isn't really anymore. Like if I... Oh wait, nope. Never mind. So if I do that, yeah, that, okay, this is gonna be fine actually. Yeah, I can, like, trim that up a bit. And there might be one, like, uh, sort of streaking across there, and I have to trim that up a lot, like, make it sharper. Make this thinner. No. No. Kind of. Yeah. And, like, uh, we need one more. Like there. And then we can go for smaller detailed ones like wham, blah, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Wow. Almost uh, one here and here and uh, here. Here we go. It's starting to look like something. Man, we're an hour and a half in and we're now just going to get to the animation. Clean it up a bit, I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I don't have the time, effort, or mental wherewithal to continue with this. Just like make it a bit more even, maybe me. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been worse. Yeah, I'm gonna trim it up too much to where it's just not covering anything again. I gotta stop, gotta stop that. Like, we have some sunbeam cuts, and I can just, like, uh, sort of make them cut through themselves, and... Switch somewhere. Maybe I'll use this for like one of my stream starting up things and display attacky starting up as a final layer. <laughs>
restart that piece. I didn't like how large it was. There we go. And then like one or two here. Yeah, that that looks nice. I, I enjoy this. Uh, I need to make like a thin one here as well, though. It's okay. I I don't enjoy it too much, but it's fine. Like I've gone through forests where there's these weird types of sort of slashed sunbeams before, and that's the excuse I'm going to use. That's the excuse I'm going to use. If I use quick, quickly checking, if I use something like sort of gray effect and like pulse that on and on, maybe uh, we can get back to that. Uh, layer two! Woo! Layer two! Uh, I'm gonna be lazy with this and, like, as nice as I can. Make this side move to one. And this side move to the other. So if you currently play this, it's... Uh, so then we dupe this frame, and then we uh, move it over to here. Uh, I'm going to have to change the spacing on this. Uh, frame properties, 300, 250, 300. And then I do one more. I'd like to make it more independent, but it's pretty good. So just like gonna quickly check up on some stuff. So right there, uh, we're just gonna black those parts out. Just make this fit a little bit better, and so... It's pretty okay, I'm... It could be better, I don't want to waste any more time on it, though. Like I could have, I could have had the water running independently of the other part, and I honestly should do that, but that's so much effort. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it.
like, yeah, it's okay. It, it serves its purpose, and that's the important part. Save it once more, double save just to be sure. Export, uh, resize, uh, export for Twitter, click creek.gif, uh, we'll just make it 200%. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do 300, uh, I, apply pixel ratio, I don't know what that means, uh, sure. Uh, animation direction forwards, frames all frames. Export! Uh, yeah. Uh, enter. Animated loop, I think. We'll check that real quick. Close that, go to pixel art, go to... Uh, quick. A dot jif file, by the way. Ah, uh, the last one has 100 frames, doesn't it? No? It's just being iffy. Do that again. I, I, I passed it. It's jumping. What if I make it export the other way? I don't care about that. Uh, interlaced, maybe? have to try and figure out why. Uh, pixel dailies, woo. Yeah. I just have to remember how to actually do a correct submission again. It's uh, at pixel dailies plus the hashtag. It's uh, daily theme, tag us with at pixel dailies plus hashtag. I'm just gonna quickly check around, be sure. I... Pixel dailies, pixel art, all right. Sunbeams. Okay. Okay, so this one's going to be a uh, hashtag pixel art pixel dailies. Yeah. Fair enough. Pixel dailies. Uh, da da da, a gif. Okay, so it's just random gifs for that. I thought it was just like, oh, you have to choose these gif files. Quick. I'll just quickly change this to file name flow. Alright, I can't just change it on the fly. Oh well. I'll just call it Crick. I probably spelled it wrong. Open. Some some hashtag sunbeams. Sunbeams, uh, lighting up a a look. Stream. And then like uh, dot 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 enter and just like pixel dailies. Yeah, sure. It seems fine. This is the end of stream, by the way, viewers. Yeah. I don't know what's happening in my news feed. There, I did it. I. I'll check out that eventually. 
I also have a Twitter. Not truly here. Uh, I don't post anything really. Well, that's a lie. Uh, if I go to my, if I click on my profile. Oh wait, what's this? Oh wow, that was fast. Man, people are just kind of sitting on the Pixel Daily stuff. Uh, if I scroll down like twice, uh, yeah, every Friday I post something about hating bones, like uh, especially my bones. Besides that, I'll shit po post randomly about game ideas I have. I don't know. That's what I do. The be back soon is now coming up. I have streamed for an hour forty. I finished a piece of pixel art. I'm okay with how it looks. That's pretty good for me. I didn't wallow in self-pity and stop like I have on other occasions. Thank you for turning into stream. Have a good day. I hope to be back soon. But in case I'm not, and this is the last time you hear me for a bit, have a good night. Have a good evening. This is Quincy C. Jones, signing off.